What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Grave on Cut. This is episode two of What the Fuck Internet. Well, it's that time of year again, folks. The time where some dumb prick does some dumb bullshit, and the blame gets placed everywhere but where it's supposed to be. I'm talking about the recent school shootings and the media blaming it on the gaming industry. Not just the gaming industry, but a lot of the media. If you don't believe me, take a look at this clip. CBS News that Adam Lanza was motivated by violent video games and a strong personal desire to kill more people than another infamous mass murderer. Sources say Adam Lanza saw himself as being in direct competition with Anders Breivik, a Norwegian man who killed 77 people in July 2011. Breivik set off a bomb in downtown Oslo, killing eight people, then moved to a nearby island where he hunted down and fatally shot 69 people, mostly teenagers attending a summer camp. Two officials who've been briefed on the Connecticut investigation say Lanza was obsessed with Brevik and wanted to top his death toll. Former FBI profiler Mary Ellen O'Toole says copycats are common in high-profile crimes. His mentality would be not just that I can beat it, but I can get uh, more attention, more notoriety, do it more skillfully, do it more efficiently. Sources say Lanza attacked nearby Sandy Hook Elementary School because it was the easiest target with the largest cluster of people. But he apparently cut short his rampage as police arrived. Unlike Brevik, who surrendered, Lanza killed himself after first firing several shots at responding officers. Investigators also believe violent video games played a role in Lanza's murderous fantasies, and a trove of material has been recovered from Lanza's basement. Sources say in Lanza's mind, the killing of 20 children and six adults may have amounted to some kind of score. Sources say he spent countless hours alone in the basement of his home, in a private gaming room with the windows blacked out, honing his computer shooting skills. So as of late, we've had a shit ton of school shootings and a half dozen false alarms. And everyone is placing the blame on video games, on movies, on TV shows. Now, I'm not trying to get political. In fact, I can't fucking stand politics in general. But when we have political figures placing blame on stuff they know nothing about, when actually the real issue is right smack in front of them, they don't want to acknowledge it. They want to place the blame somewhere else just to shake some cages. And no, I'm not saying we need gun control. Yes, gun control is a necessary thing just to avoid having lunatics running around in the streets with fucking AR-15s and handguns and bullshit. What I'm trying to say is, we need control over the assholes that are getting the weapons and doing this shit. In the quest to explain the Colorado mass shootings, more psychologists are starting to look at the roots of mental illness, particularly in those who are young. Elizabeth Bernstein, she writes our Bonds Relationship column, and she has also been reporting on some of these issues for many years. Elizabeth, you've been exploring this now. Let's just uh, say up front, though, what we know and don't know about James Holmes, who is suspected of killing 12 people, wounding 15, eight others in Aurora, Colorado, in the Batman shooting. We are looking at him in court earlier this week. Uh, we know uh, very little. In fact, we know that he we don't know that there's anything suspicious about yet, whether tests have been made about whether he is uh, suffering from mental illness. The one thing we do know is that he mailed a notebook with drawings of a massacre to a University of Colorado psychiatrist. That's according to law enforcement officials. Now, in terms of the reporting you've been doing, what do we know about the onset of mental illness with young people? Well, you're right. We don't know much about what made James Holmes do what he did uh, about his mental illness, if, if at all he has one, or his background. We do know this morning that his jailers are saying he's claiming amnesia. He doesn't know why he's in jail. But uh, why do people do this? Well, the onset of mental illness, he's actually in the age range for it. It's In males, it's 15 to 25 is the peak age. In females, it goes a little later, 15 to 30. So we know that, that he's in that range. And, and people are looking very carefully obviously at it. What are some of the warning signs? I mean, I think that's what people always say, you know, how could we have known? You hear very little of that, you know, with James Holmes so far, but maybe that's yet to come. But what, but in just in general, what should people look out for? 
people want to know what makes a young person go off the rails and, and is it different than a moody teen? How do you tell the difference? So uh, if you are uh, worried about someone, what you want to look for is a, a lot of change in behavior. You want to look at their withdrawing from friends, from academics, from work, um, from anything they like, any hobby or sports interests they have, if their appearance is becoming disheveled, if they're um, certainly if their thinking is becoming um, dysfunctional, if they're not quite coherent anymore. You want to look at all of that. And those are huge warning signs. Their sleep patterns, their eat patterns. If someone's really changing, you really want to take a look at it. Now, Elizabeth, you've been reporting um, on mental health for a long time for us and talked to a lot of psychologists, psychiatrists. There are obviously serious classified mental illnesses, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, man, uh, manic depressive disorder. Uh, not all of these, though, cause people to do the kinds of horrific things that James Holmes did. And I wonder if the psychologists you talk to have ever said that evil itself is a psychological disorder. You know, I haven't heard that. That's a really interesting question. But but it, they certainly do say, the psychiatrists and psychologists say one thing, not all mentally ill people are violent. In fact, the ma vast majority of them are not. And also, not all of this incomprehensible violence is perpetrated by somebody who has a mental illness. So there is a separate from mental illness and all the ones you mentioned, there's a profile of a loner who is mm -hmm. not out of touch with reality, but who actually is just angry, anarchic, and wants revenge. And that is different than a mental illness. And they're looking at that. They always look at both of those in these cases. And for example, in Columbine with two shooters, one was mentally ill, very, very depressed. One was um, a sociopath and, and not. So right. though he had some mental illness, but they really believed in the end he did this sort of out of a rage. All right. Are you starting to see what I'm getting at? First off, how are these people with mental disabilities getting these guns? I think from what I what everybody can assume at this point is it's the parenting not video games not movies not TV shows yeah they may actually impact some level to it but it's not the whole thing the major fucking thing here and I'm sick and tired of hearing video games and other shit getting under fire when the real issue is getting control of the people that are getting the guns if you have, I understand that people with mental disabilities have rights. I'm pretty sure everybody else, including other individuals that have mental disabilities, have rights not to get shot. This is coming down to the parenting. This is coming down to how these people are getting access to these guns. What is it? They're just not being stored properly? Uh, first off, the other thing is maybe not teach an individual that has mental disabilities how to fire a freaking weapon. That should be a no, that should be no question about it. If you know this person is a danger is, is has a potential to be dangerous, don't give them a freaking gun. It's a stupid idea. It's a very stupid idea. And not to mention now we got the president saying we need well, just look at this clip. Well, you mentioned the internet. We have to look at the internet because a lot of bad things are happening to young kids and young minds and their minds are being formed. And uh, we have to do something about uh, maybe what they're seeing and how they're seeing it. And also video games. I'm hearing more and more people say the level of violence on video games is really shaping young people's thoughts. And then you go the further step and that's the movies. You see these movies, they're so violent and yet a kid is able to see the movie if sex isn't involved, but killing is involved, and maybe they have to put a rating system for that. Do you mean this? And not to mention, now hear me out on this. This might be fucking crazy here, but listen, hear me out here. If you have a person that regularly plays video games, now this is, we're talking a regular sane-minded person. You take that person, and he has an issue as far as co-workers, say, I'm just using this as examples, co-workers, classmates, whatever. You're not gonna fucking see a person that has the mental capacity to differ between virtual reality and actual reality. Because the same person's gonna realize, if I shoot somebody in real life, that person doesn't get a respawn. That person's dead. That's it. Game over. No pun intended. But, then you take an individual that is not of sane mind. You hand them a gun. And they have a behavior. 
that person should not be handed an AR-15 or a handgun of any kind. To give you guys a better understanding, here's Ray from Ray's World TV. Donald Trump has blamed video games for the school shooting. But all I have to say really is this. Are you fucking stupid? No, seriously, like, I, I get Donald Trump says a lot of stupid things from time to time, but come on. All right, video games has been around since forever, for me at least. And the fact that we're having the whole blame game on video games again, this isn't the first time. We've literally had people blaming video games for so many years. Ray has made a lot of good points. This has been an issue and a topic of conversation for many, many years. Mainly around the time when gaming became popular, but not saying, let's put it this way, nobody's willing to shoot anybody over just because they fucking played Pac-Man. We're talking more along the lines of the Call of Duties, Grand Theft Autos, etc, etc. But, it comes down to, I get it, people with developmental dis people with disabilities in general have rights. But if you have somebody that is mentally unstable, the w just don't don't show them how to freaking use a weapon. Again, they have rights, but I believe everybody has a right to not get shot. There's no reason that people should be dying just because somebody just snaps and just loses their shit. It's just not it's just not a freaking thing that should be a thing. And placing the blame on gaming industry, the movie industry, and the television industry is not solving the problem. It's going after the people that have these issues that, again, if you see that they have a clear and present danger to themselves and others, maybe handing them and teaching them how to use and showing them where you have your weapons is not the best of ideas. So, in closing, all I can say is, get your shit together, and just look at the real problem. Look at the real issue at hand. Don't blame, don't blame the gaming industry, don't blame TVs, movies, radio, whatever have you. Blame, here's the thing, nobody should be blamed on this. It's just a matter of knowing what's really going on here. As you've seen previously in the video, a lot of the people that were doing these shootings were mentally disturbed. Why were they handed guns? Why did they get access to guns? How did they get access to guns? Maybe, just maybe, now here, again, this could be me just being a little fucking crazy right now. Maybe just don't hand the motherfucker a goddamn AR-15. Don't let him have access to an AR-15 or any kind of weapon. So in closing, before you actually say something as far as the gaming industry and please feel free to comment something in the comment section below Let's try to start this conversation up all i can say at this point is what the fuck internet hey guys thanks for watching the video make sure you like subscribe and share this video please feel free to check out my previous video and also follow me on twitter and instagram and also check out my gaming channel hey and remember support your small channels